Oh no, SOS is not loading. Let me show you why this happens and how to solve it. So, this situation happens once in a while when debugging .NET memory dumps. The reasons are kinda complex, but let me show you some potential solutions. The issue is caused by the SOS plugin itself. But first, a background on the SOS plugin. SOS, or Son of Stripe, is a DLL that was written to decode memory for .NET applications. Each installation of the .NET Framework includes this DLL in the .NET Framework directory. Search your instance of Windows and you will find many instances of this DLL. Generally, when you start debugging .NET memory dumps, you would type load by SOS CLR. And this is where the problem begins. The meaning of load by is to load the SOS plugin from the same directory as the CLR. Let me open a memory dump and show you an example. Okay, so I have here a memory dump which has already been opened, but I have not loaded any plugins or done any analysis. I'm going to load the SOS plugin by typing load by SOS CLR. Then I'm just going to type a command to see that it works. I'm going to type PE, which is uh, to print exceptions and it will show that the SOS plugin has loaded. Now, if I take a look at the CLR, if I type LMVM CLR, which shows the module um, detailed information, I see that the CLR loaded from this directory over here, which is Microsoft.NET Framework, and this is the version of .NET. This is not actually version 4 of .NET, it's actually version 4.8, but the directory name is still uh, v4. Uh, directory and the uh, suffix over here, this is the uh, version number. So I see that the CLR was loaded from this location. Now if I take a look at chain, chain is a command to look at all the plugins that have been loaded into WinDebug. I see that the version of SOS that was loaded is actually a version that comes from a symbol directory. This is my symbol directory over here in which I have stored all my symbols. I can see that the version that is loaded actually matches the version of the CLR over here. This is intentional. Whenever you load SOS, SOS actually downloads the symbol for the exact version that is needed to debug the .NET memory dump. Now, each version of the SOS has a companion DLL called MS Cordex, which is located inside this directory over here. The MS Core DAX is absolutely essential for the SOS plugin to work. And this is actually the root cause why the version number of the SOS plugin is very important. Let me reopen this memory dump. But this time, I'm going to intentionally disable the capability of downloading the symbol. And we will see what will happen when we try to run SOS from that memory dump. Okay. I have a new instance of WinDebug open and I've opened a .NET memory dump. What I'm going to do is I'm going to type load by SOS CLR and this will load the SOS plugin as I have done earlier. Then if I inspect the version of the CLR over here with LMVM, I'm going to see that the CLR is actually version 4.8.439. but if I look at chain and look at the version of the SOS, it's going to come from a different version number, which is going to be 4.8.4420. This version number over here of the SOS plugin is a mismatch. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run PE and oops, I'm going to get an error. This error is actually correct. And the reason for this error is because if the version number of the SOS does not match the version number of the CLR, you will get this error over here. I intentionally disabled the downloading of symbols to show you the error and to show that this error is because of version mismatch. Okay, so when we are in this scenario, there are two techniques that I know of which can be used to solve this problem. Both the techniques are related to one another and you should try them both 
And if they don't work, there are other more advanced techniques, but I'll show you two simple techniques you can use. The first technique is to get WinDebug to actually try to download the symbol. Microsoft keeps all the SOS and MS Core Dex files in the Microsoft Symbol Server. Now, through history, not every version is present. I don't know why. A Microsoft engineer will know why ev not every version is present. But you can try to force it to download. What you need to do is you need to run core DLL minus capital N. Capital N, remember it's not a small N, it's a, it's a capital N. If you run that, what will happen is WinDebug will reach out to the symbol server and it will actually download the version of SOS that is needed. Once you have done that, you can just double check by typing chain and you will see that above the SOS, you will have another SOS and this would have downloaded from the symbol server. Once you have done that, if you run a .NET command, it's gonna work. And the key reason is that the symbol that is downloaded always matches the version of the CLR that you have. Now, if for some reason, core DLL N did not download the correct SOS or if it could not find the SOS, there is a way to manually load the SOS into WinDebug and force WinDebug to use the version of SOS that we want. How you do that is you have to find the machine that the memory dump came from. So in my case, let me just switch really quick. This is the machine in which the memory dump came from. Go to the .NET Framework folder in which it was stated by the CLR. So when we type LMVM CLR, it said that it came from a particular directory. Go to that directory. In that directory, find the file SOS over here and find the file MS Core, or oh, let me just type that again, MS Cordex. There we are, this is the MS Cordex. Copy those two files to a safe location and you can then use them to load into WinDebug. Let me switch back to WinDebug and show you how that will work. So if I go back to WinDebug, now I have a new instance of WinDebug in which when I run load by SOS CLR, it's gonna load. But then if I run the command PE, it's gonna fail. So what I'll do is I'll manually load the SOS from my target machine and I will force it into WinDebug. So the first step is to copy the SOS in the MS Core DAX into a directory so that we can use it with WinDebug. So I've done that over here. I've copied the MS Core DAX and the SOS into a directory. So now I can load that into WinDebug. So let me switch back to WinDebug and proceed to load the SOS. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to unload the SOS that was loaded uh, because this SOS is not the correct version. So what you do is you type unload SOS, pretty straightforward, and it will unload the SOS plugin. So now you can manually load the correct version. Now that you have unloaded the SOS, let's just do a quick check. If I run chain, I see that the SOS is not loaded. What you want to do is you want to run core DLL minus LP and put the path to the directory that you copied the SOS and the MS Core Dex. If you do that, what will happen is it will reload the SOS, but this time, look at it. It's not actually going to reload from the symbol folder. If I type chain again, I'm going to get that the SOS has actually loaded from a directory that I had and it did not download any symbol from the Microsoft symbol server. Now, if I run PE, it's going to work because this version of the SOS and the version of MS Cordex I've copied are the exact versions. Let me just check. So if I type LMVM CLR, I get this version of the CLR. And if I take a look at the version of the SOS is going to be the identical same version. The reason that WinDebug says loaded DLL MS Cordex is because this is the actual DLL that is reading the memory dump. The SOS is just the DLL that contains the commands, but this is the actual data accessing DLL that is needed. Hence why you need to copy both into the folder. If you want to back up a memory dump, there is a chance that in the future, when Microsoft patches .NET, you may not be able to get the SOS and the MS Codex. So it is a good idea that if you want to back up a memory dump for future reading, save the SOS and the MS Codex from the machine in which the memory dump was taken. Now, 
realistically the chances of this happening is very low i've only seen it a couple of times over the years but i have seen it happen enough times to know that you can get into trouble that if you don't have a copy of the sos and the ms codex especially if you save memory dumps for more than six months or more than one year you can get into a scenario where you cannot read it because the Microsoft Symbol Server really does not have that version of the MS Codex. Have you seen this problem in the past? I have actually seen it um, on more than one occasion. I've seen it when the Microsoft Symbol Server did not have the correct version of the MS Codex. But I've also seen it on versions of the CLR in which Microsoft does not support anymore. For example, the Microsoft SQL Server used to have its own version of the CLR and Silverlight used to have its own version of the CLR. In those kind of situations, memory dumps from those kind of .NET systems, you can't get the MS Codex from the Microsoft Symbol Server. And this is the only technique that I know of in which I can get WinDebug to load the SOS correctly. Gentle reminder to subscribe. Hit that bell icon and give me a like if you like the content. Also, let me know in the description below, have you ever encountered this problem where the SOS and the MS Codex and the CLR do not match in version? Tell me how, uh, what you did and how you managed to get through it or if you knew about this technique in which you can run CoreDLL-LP and just get the CoreDLL to load the modules from where you want it to. As always, it's been a pleasure bringing you this information. I am High Voice, signing out.